Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this video is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be putting a coffee table together. Um, it actually goes up and goes down, so it's pretty cool. And some of you guys may take interest in, maybe you purchase it on Amazon and want to see how to actually put it together and how it looks. This video is going to be for you. So I'll leave a picture somewhere out here. And I'll also put it in the description. That way you can go ahead and check it out. If you want to purchase it, they have different colors available. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you the table, how it looks like, and how to put it together. So stay tuned. So here's the table. This is how it looks. I already opened up the package. It just had tape on the edges. It does come with styrofoam on the sides, on the top and the bottom. So it comes secured. This is what it looks like. We order the gray looking color just to match all of our other cabinets, tables and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. They are labeled and everything. Here are the instructions on how to actually install the coffee table. This is the brand. So before actually getting started and doing the time lapse, let's actually go over exactly what you need because you don't want to have to start this project and then find out that you're missing a bunch of pieces to assemble everything together. So I decided to lay it all out, make sure I had everything together. So now if we look at this paper here, um, we can see that we have a total of nine uh, panels. So if we look over here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine. Uh, we need the uh, two legs uh, they're both different so just make sure you check that as well so the legs right here make sure you have all of these right here they're all labeled for you a b c d they're all labeled for you as well on the back so that's really neat and then you have two brackets in order to allow the coffee table to move up it's going to be those right there you can use a drill but when it comes to projects like these i prefer to use um, a hand tool that way you don't really like strip anything you go too far and end up cracking it I do have my drill, but I'm going to be using my hand tool, um, in this case, a screwdriver to be able to do everything. So, yeah, let's go ahead and start working on it. I'm going to start putting everything together, and then we'll do the time lapse now. So, we're going to go ahead and put these on here. These are the D package. So, I'm putting them on by hand right now, and then I'm going to go ahead and tighten them with my screwdriver. Just putting them in place, that way they know where they go. don't want to over tighten these just put them on there to a snug tight it's not going anywhere now same thing for these other ones right here which appear to be these right here want we'll to do the same thing to those as well so both of those, and then you also want to do it to this right here, which appears to be that one over there. So one of the larger ones is actually numbered number five. So this is the one that you would be installing those D's on there as well. So here they are. Now we're going to move on to the legs. Um, two different legs, there's an A and a 9. We're going to be installing B's on those. Just like that, that's how the 8's look. Two on the side right here, one on the end. These holes are actually too big, so this thing won't even fit in there. And then same thing with this one. Yeah, this one empty and then the one at the bottom. All right, so now we're at this point, we're gonna go ahead and grab our C's and our H's, and then we're gonna use our five and our twos. So that's gonna be the two smaller ones that we did in the beginning. And then also the larger one, which is the five that we put those things on there as well. You would have this facing with the cross outside, and then the gap with the hole facing up towards the hole, because the hole's on the top. So we place it there. Uh, right now we're going to go ahead and start placing them on the outer sides because that's what we're doing right now from the instructions. And then we're also going to do this side as well.
Okay, so now we are on step four. We went ahead and attached these two together, which is a two to the five. And then now we're going to go ahead and grab the six, which is this one right here. This is the smaller piece. Same thing as the other one. We're going to go ahead and grab our C's. Grab it like that. Push it in with the cross facing up. And then we need another one. Same thing. Push in. And then grab your two wood pieces. Place them inside. Just like that. Then now you can go ahead and place this on top of it. Pin it up. It doesn't need to be super tight because it just holds it in place. Just like that. Same thing with the other side, we're gonna grab the other one. Okay, so now we are on step five. So five, we're gonna go ahead and grab on board seven, which is gonna be that one. There you go, number seven. So this one goes on top of that right there. So here we have A and H. So we're going to have this facing the other way. All right, so now we have three and four side by side. This one's three, that one's four. The legs go to a specific side. On number three, right side, which is this one over here, go legs nine, and then on this side, go legs eight. Same thing with the other one, number four, legs eight go over here, and then legs nine go on the other side. And then we're gonna fill in the holes, just like every other hole, using the C's. And then you also wanna put in your H sticks on the side as well, which go over here. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Okay, so we still have the table sitting upside down like it shows on the picture, just like that. And now you want to go ahead and attach four on this side over here, which is the left side. On the other side, it looks like you will be installing number three. And then in your package comes these little, I think they're like stickers. So it won't scratch the material right here. So you're gonna place them on each end, all four corners. And then after that, we move on to the next step. So that's gonna be this part right here. We're going to be installing the latch now onto number one, which is the one over there, which we have not touched at all. So yeah. Let's go ahead and start doing that, put these stickers on, and then we're gonna start moving on to this one right here. Well, now we have the brackets left. So these are also um, lettered. So this one is L for left, and then this one is R for right. It is asking you to place the spring on these right here. 
Well, it's gonna be pretty hard. So let's see if we can do this. Ooh, this thing is. So I guess what you could do is you could grab some pliers. With this you would want to be really careful because springs can hurt. Especially if you get your finger stuck between one. The best way to do this is make sure you have it extended all the way open. Because if you have it all the way open, then it's going to get closer to the two points where it needs to touch. So right now if I close it, it's pushing it farther away. See that? So make sure to push it up all the way. Then try putting it on there. It's going to be a lot easier. Yeah, like I said, be very careful with this part. You don't want to hurt yourself. So try to keep your fingers away from the spring as much as possible. All right, there you go. So that worked. Um, it's not on the groove completely, so try moving it. Don't use your hands. There you go. Now it's on there. So there's one. Now let's do the other one. Remember, have it all the way open. Just like that. And then grab your other spring. Place it on there. There you go. That was a lot easier. Okay, so let's go ahead and start putting this on to number one. All right, so now we're on the very last part. So uh, it doesn't matter which way it is because the bracket does have to go one way. So this one is going to go right here. So this bottom part is now installed, but right now we need to put this onto there. And in order to do that, I would suggest having two people help out. That way you don't scratch the wood because I don't really want to scratch it. It is brand new. So I'm going to wait for my girlfriend to get here. Once she gets here, we're going to go ahead and install this top piece on there. Let's go ahead and wait. Once we install the screws on there on the sides, then we can go ahead and pretty much see how it looks. 15 minutes later. All right guys, so if you're like me, you're gonna get very impatient and you wanna go ahead and do it either way, even though you might mess it up. And I was able to get one screw in on each side just to hold it in place for right now. So I now have this screw in there holding it in. It only goes one way. There's going to be four holes like right next to each other. Uh, align those up, same thing with that side. And then this side only has two. So just get those in there. Um, then it should line up perfectly fine. And then you can put the other ones in. I think I'm going to go ahead and go over to this one over here, screw that one in, and then screw the ones over here at the end. So, yeah, let's go ahead and finish it up, that way we can see the final result. All right, there you guys go. Hope you enjoyed the cinematic that I did of the table. As you guys can see, it looks really good. I have no complaints at all. Everything came out perfect. Nothing was stripped. I didn't have any issues. In order to lift up the table, you need to make sure you use both hands. So one on, on this side, one on that side over there. You can't do it with one hand. It's pretty stiff and sturdy, which is kind of good because when you lift it up, if you have something on the top, it's not gonna weigh it down and make it drop down. It's gonna actually stay up. There's quite a few cubbies, so the ones at the bottom, you have a total of three. They're actually pretty long, so you can put anything that you want in there. 
and then right here on the inside you can put like your controllers uh whatever you don't want to show or you want to hide when you have a guest uh it's going to be really useful in order to be able to hide it under there hope it helps with your decision if you want to purchase this on amazon like i said i'll leave it in the description uh this one was about 109 dollars just for the table and then we have this other one over here which is about 130 for two of them i will be doing a video on that one as well and the next video uh, just because this one was pretty long so i didn't want to take up too much of your time but that's the same color it's a gray but they also have like Expresso and Black available if you guys want to purchase that one as well. I haven't posted in a while and if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I just purchased the house. So I'm still getting everything together, still moving a lot of things. That's why it's been like kind of crazy and you can kind of see a mess here and there. So I'm still getting everything together, but it's going to look really sick once it's all done. Uh, with that being said, I do have a lot more videos I'm going to be posting. We have a new project car and then we will have a new one, hopefully within the next few months, another project car as well. But I will be taking a video on that one and showing you guys what it is i'm sure that a lot of you guys will like it because of the gas prices and how high it's going up right now you guys may be looking into a car like this there's going to be something interesting and unique that a lot of you guys may like and i don't really see a lot on youtube as of right now and that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like subscribe hit that bell notification and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace